In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a badge that appears when a player deviates from the average in your database. Let's say you want a badge to appear if a player raises the hero's flop C bets 30% more than the average player in your database. First, we need to make our stat the raise hero flop C bet stat. To do this, we'll create an express definition. So go ahead and click File, New, then Express Definition. We're going to check filter by flop actions, select raise, then select raise again. Now we will check versus hero is yes, and check the raise versus c bet in the bottom left as well. The first stat that comes up is f rcb underscore versus hero, which stands for flop raise c bet versus hero. We'll click add so that the stat will be created. After a few seconds, our new stat will open for us. Let's go ahead and apply a badge to it in the badge drop-down box. Next, we need to set the threshold for the badge to appear. Click on the Advanced tab. So if we want this badge to appear when the player raises the hero's flop C bets 30% more than average, we're going to put 30 as the minimum in the Difference in Instance Opportunity as a percent field. Click File, then Save to save our new badge. Now we need to reset and reprocess our notes so that the previously processed hands will apply to our new stat. Do this by clicking File, then Reset Notes, and click Yes to all the prompts. Now that we have the badge created, we can add it to our HUD. See Part 1 of this video on exactly how to do that. Basically, you just add the NC NoCuddy dot ordered badges to your HUD as a HUD stat. We hope you enjoy the power of badges because they are extremely useful for multi-tabling because you can instantly see leaks on your opponent. Remember, automated badges do not work on PokerStars live tables due to their terms of service, but you can use automated color coding on PokerStars. Thanks for watching and we'll see you at the tables.